Today we're talking all things warming up. We're gonna teach you how to warm up if you're a skateboarder. And to do that, we're gonna highlight the SIBO warm up. So this is warming up 101. Let's get it. Why don't you tell us about the SIBO warm up and how it came about? Why are we why are we calling it the SIBO warm up? So basically SIBO hit me up a couple years ago and he he felt like he needed to warm up better before his skate sessions. So he asked me to help him devise a routine, a warm up routine that he could do both every day at his apartment before he went out for the day and also like a quick warm up routine that he could do at the spot right before he skates. And that's kind of how the SIBO warm up came about. And so what is it what's it involved? So basically I just kind of thought about all the different ways I've seen SIBO skate in the past. The warm is heavy on dynamic stretching, so we do a lot of dynamic stretching that involves rotating the body and then swinging the legs back and forth. Also, I threw in a few muscle activation exercises that get the flick muscles ready for skating and the glute and the hip muscles primed and ready to go for skating. And then we finished with a little bit of jump roping to, to help get SIBO's quick feet primed and ready to go some of the quickest some of the quickest feet in the game some might say the quickest feet in the game in my opinion yep cool and so it basically works as a general warm-up for the average skater huh yep yeah yeah and basically what's good for SIBO is you can apply it to every skater so this is the this is the warm-up that I recommend for all skaters all right so to start with we're gonna do a series of dynamic stretches so this first stretch is called the open book stretch. So you're gonna be on your side, bring your top leg up towards your chest, keep the bottom leg straight, and you're gonna rotate back and forth. And you wanna follow your hand with your eyes, basically. Follow your hand with your eyes, yep. So you keep your head moving. And this is a great way to loosen up the mid back, the low back, even the hip a little bit. If you're a skater, you know that you do a lot of rotating and twisting when you're skating. So this is a good way to sort of prepare the body for that. Can you remind us what dynamic stretching is? Dynamic stretching is basically stretching while moving to put it in its simplest terms. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna adjust his bottom leg and bring it back so it's nice and straight. And you can see here, I'm keeping Sibo's head moving. And that makes the stretch more effective. And you can also do this one with your knees together, right? You can, yeah. But when the bottom leg is straight, it targets the low back a little bit more. What are the main benefits of stretches like this? Or I, I guess of dynamic stretching in general? Uh, number one, flexibility. It's a great way to improve flexibility. But because you're in constant motion, you're simultaneously sort of warming up the muscles as well. So it has that added benefit. Keep your hips straight so don't let them rotate backwards so you can see i'm kind of keeping SIBO's hips from rotating back so this stretch is called the scorpion stretch and basically you're going to be on your stomach you're going to keep your hands the palms of your hands flat on the ground and they're going to rotate your legs back into the side and what's this targeting this is targeting the front of the hips, the low back. We're still kind of working on rotating the body, just kind of in a slightly different way than the open book. I'm all about the stretches that let you just lie down on the ground. I know, this one's, <laughs> this one's pretty nice. And you can see as Sibo is rotating the leg back, he's bending the knee. He could actually even bend it a little bit more. If you get really good at the stretch, you can rotate all the way back so your foot touches the ground. And here we have front to back leg swings. So keep the board down on the ground to keep your balance. And you can see if you're going to swing the right leg, hold the board on the right side. And obviously you don't have to be holding on to something that's lower than you. You can be touching a wall or a fence or whatever, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And when you swing the leg forward, you're gonna stretch the hamstring a little bit. And when you swing the leg backward, if you swing it back far enough, you're gonna stretch the front part of the hip. And then you see he's stretching the left leg, so he's balancing with the board on the left side. So whatever leg you're swinging with, hold on to something with the same, with the same arm. How much time do you usually wanna spend swinging? 
30 seconds. So 30 okay. seconds is enough time to increase flexibility and also enough time to help improve your power, speed, and strength, which we'll talk about later on. So here we have Sibo doing side-to-side -side leg swings. And this is gonna basically hold the board in front of you or you can hold on to a wall in front of you. And then you swing side to side as far as you feel comfortable going up and then as far as you feel comfortable going over as well. And when he swings up, he's gonna open up the inner thigh muscles or the groin muscles. And then when he swings over across his body, he's gonna open up the outside part of the hips a little bit. But mostly you feel the stretch when you're swinging up. All right, so this is the knee to chest stretch. Nothing much to the stretch. Basically, you bring your knee up towards your chest as far as you can on your own, and then you give it a hug there at, at the end to give the hips a little bit of a stretch. And this specifically targets sort of the back part of the hips or the glutes. And with this one, you can also stretch the hip at a slight angle. So you can see Sibo doing here. And this is a really good way to prepare the body for the tucking part uh, when you pop over something really high, when you have to really tuck the knees towards your chest to get over an obstacle. So this is a good way to prepare your body for large amounts of pop. It's one I definitely need to work on. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> All right, here we have Sibo working on some resisted flicks. So you basically get the band around the distal part of your foot towards the toes, and then you flick as hard as you can into the band. And when you flick, try to keep your, try to do all the flicking with your ankle and keep the, the knees and the, the rest of the legs pretty still. How many do you want to try to do? Do it for about 30 seconds or until you feel a mild to moderate fatigue in the outside part of the, the shin. All right, next Sibo is going to warm up the glute muscles and the quad muscles, the front thigh muscles with side steps. So he's going to get into a little squat and step side to side, pushing out into the band with his knees. So a couple things you want to think about here. Keep your feet straight the whole time and constantly keep your knees pushing out into the band, both knees. So you kind of want to think about being bow-legged and that will help activate the glute muscles a little bit more. And then you see I'm um, having Sibo sit down and back with his butt and lean forward with his torso a little bit to make it a little more effective. So he's in a little bit deeper of a squat. And again, about 30 seconds or until you feel the muscles start to fatigue a little bit. You don't want to over fatigue the muscles with these resistance exercises and get the body tired. You just want to do enough to get a little bit of burn in the muscles so that they're kind of awake and ready for skating. So here we have squat rotations. So again, see both sitting down and back with his butt and then he's just rotating back a little bit. And the key thing here is to keep that front knee from twisting inward. So you're constantly pushing out into the band, especially with that front leg. And you'll see me keep his leg there, keep that knee pointing out. So I'm cueing him to push into my fingers. There you go. And that will help keep that front knee a little more stable. But it won't make him skate bow-legged, right? It will, it will not make him skate bow-legged. <laughs> All right, now that we've finished our dynamic stretching and our muscle activation exercises, we're gonna finish off with jump roping. And this is basically to prepare the body for jumping when you're skating. So again, all your popping stuff. And it's also a good way to just warm up the whole body. You're swinging your arms, you're moving your legs, and you're gonna do 30 seconds with both feet and then 30 seconds alternating right to left. My instinct would be to jump rope first. Yeah, you can, but 
the dynamic stretches are a little bit more mellow and then the muscle activation exercises are a little bit more intense and then the jump rope you're actually jumping so that's like the most stress on the body so you kind of work your way up to that oh so you could in theory like maybe hurt yourself if you just went straight into like kind of an intense jump roping session Probably not, but when you're warming up, or when I warm up, I like to go from the easiest stuff to the most challenging stuff. And compared to the muscle activation exercises and the dynamic stretching, the jump roping yeah. is, is the hardest on the body. All right, so that's it for the full SIBO warmup. So let's move on to the SIBO spot warmup. This is a more efficient version of the full warmup that you can do at the spot with uh, no equipment. So it's basically all of the dynamic stretches, the front to back leg swings, the side to side leg swings, the knee to chest dynamic stretch. And then we do a, we do a rotational dynamic stretch with the board. It's all those dynamic stretches plus the jump roping motion. So the scenario for the spot warmup is, let's say, you know, in the morning, you've done the full SIBO warmup, but you have to go on a little drive to the park or to the spot. So you're still pretty warmed up from the full SIBO warmup, but you wanna get kind of rewarmed up. This is a quick dynamic warmup that you can do at the spot. So here's SIBO doing the, the board rotations and this kind of, that kind of takes place of the, uh, the open book and scorpion exercises from the full warmup. And there's not much else to it. Well, looks like that's a wrap for warming up 101. Let's keep the conversation going, Kyle. I'm down, let's do it. If you're still interested in learning more about warming up, dynamic stretching, an extension of what we've been talking about here, head over to the deep dive where we're gonna go a little bit more in depth into talking about all this. I'm psyched, let's do it. All right, peace. Later. <laughs>